do you want to make a difference? I love what I do. Get the thrill of discovering how the world works. It's not even about having it done. It's just the, the journey getting there. When I imagined an engineer, that was not me at all, not even a little bit. Always out in the woods behind my house, digging holes, building things, you know, building tree houses, tearing trees house down, building it again. Uh, so I always just enjoyed that kind of working with my hands and at the time didn't really recognize that as engineering. I just saw that as having fun. I think the important part of getting people into engineering is finding something that they're excited about. You know, I wanted to work with, with water. So the, the, the technical skills kind of came along to supplement that. When I was really young, my uncle once asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And, you know, I answered the typical six-year-old answers, you know, doctor, lawyer, ballerina. My uncle said, well, what about engineering, like your Uncle Mike? And I said, okay. Basically, if you think about it, anything could be improved and could be better. And I always see myself look at the bigger picture. I'm a nuclear tool physicist. We can do certain analysis and uh, trace back to what is really and the ground is almost like magic. I basically started building robots, remote control cars and take them apart, put things together in a different way, fixing things. Every single technology that we develop, every single button or thing that we create, it will become the future. It kind of dawned on me one day that chemistry plus problem solving equals chemical engineering. When I was a kid I used to wonder um, how, how these uh, all these gadgets would work. Everything in the world has an engineer involved in it at some point in its step. Before I used to see objects and now I see how objects were designed and engineered. No matter where in the state you're driving through, you're going to see uh, these fields of wind turbines. That's really neat because I've got a couple designs that are up in wind turbines. That's where the, the really innovative ideas come from, is when the challenges in one industry are seemingly uh, trivial in another industry or have already been solved. We need to bring the sexy back to engineering, if that ever existed. And technology will be there and technology will continue to advance. So in, in order for us to continue to be this great country, we have to advance with it.